In this presentation, I will describe the new functionality related to subtractive manufacturing in Creo 8. To start, just a quick review at Creo Manufacturing Portfolio. As you may know, our Creo solutions span from machining, CMM programming, NC sheet metal, mold and cast solutions, additive manufacturing, and so on. Today, we will focus on the high-speed machining extensions, the base license with 3-axis HSM and the plus license with 3- and 5-axis HSM toolpaths. Creo HSM Plus is taking the place of the mold machining extension introduced in Creo 5. The Creo High Speed Milling Plus extension is a dedicated machining extension to produce 5-axis simultaneous toolpaths for production parts and mold, die, or cast. It perfectly complements the existing 5-axis toolpaths in other Creo machining extensions. The 5-axis simultaneous toolpaths can work on full B rep geometry or on faceted features. Now we have seven HSM toolpaths in Creo 8. Three new commands, which are rough, rest rough, and out to the boring, and four additional toolpaths implemented as expansions to the existing three axis HSM functionality. Those are the 3 plus 2 rough and rest rough and 3 to 5 conversion option for finish and rest finish. In this video, I would like to show the capability of machining on a tessellated model. For this example, I took a generative design, which I exported to 3MF and imported back into Creo as a faceted model. On that model, I created a 3 plus 2 roughing and rest roughing and a 3 to 5 axis conversion finish sequence. In the material removal simulation, we can see the three toolpaths. A look into the CL data can give us an indication where the material is removed in three axes or in five axes simultaneous. All those transitions are happening, are happening automatically. Now let's describe a little bit more the HSM rough and rest rough. Beginning with the scan types. We have two scan types, constant load and spiral. The constant load is comparable to high priced end user products in the market. And by ensuring constant cutting conditions can reduce the milling time when compared to conventional milling. This scan type is intended to be used with solid carbide tools with a full flute length engaged. The second scan type, spiral, is intended to remove large volumes of stock. It is a collision-free roughing toolpath with advanced smoothing. It is common to use it to machine large mold and die parts, usually using indexable insert tools. Having described the scan types, let's review the automatic 3 plus 2 rough toolpath. The automatic 3 plus 2 roughing detects the necessary machining directions to reach the undercuts in complex parts. The inputs are the tool, the stock, and the part. It can be used in mold dies and cast or on production parts as well. This toolpath is automatically performing the following steps. First, select the biggest rest machining area along Z axis. If this is the first toolpath, it's likely that you will see something resembling a three axis roughing. Then evaluates and selects the tool direction to define the tilting for the second volume to remove. As step three, perform the machining. And fourth step is to repeat until the stop condition is met. The three parameters are search angle, minimum stock, and maximum tilt angle. When performing material removal simulation, we will notice 
that in one single toolpath, we are doing a job where previously we needed several machining operations. We don't need to use a trial and error approach to guess how many mill windows were needed to reach the undercuts. Everything is automatic and in one single toolpath. Now let's review the five axis simultaneous rough and rest rough. This is a high speed milling five axis simultaneous toolpath to machine pockets with curved floor surfaces. We provide a constant load strategy, which is competitive with standalone products in the market. The tool supports are end mill, bull nose, taper, and ball mills. The application areas span from outer space parts, tire molds, and any production part with pockets over complex surface geometries. We offer three slice generation strategies. One option could be to use only the floor surface as a reference, like in the picture in the middle, or we select only the ceiling to get another shape. And also could be possible to use the combination of the two using the morph option. In relation to scan types, constant load and spiral are available as described before. Also, you can control the cut types. Available are zigzag, one way, upcut and climb, and spiral. This NC step is designed to orient the tool automatically along the normal of the reference surface. In this video, we see the three options. In this example, we will use the offset from floor option and the default constant load scan type. When we perform material removal simulation, we can see that the tool stays normal to the curved floor. The next toolpath is auto deburring. This toolpath is intended to follow the sharp edges of a part using a spherical tool to remove any residual material on such edges. It is highly automated. All edges can be automatically detected. The tilting, linking, and collision checks are done without user intervention with a resulting increase in productivity. Among the benefits are the savings in time and training needed, and the easiness to create these three or five axis simultaneous toolpaths. The application areas, practically all types of parts with edges in the geometries. It can be common for production parts. Now, how it works. You select a reference model, then specify if you want to scan the model to identify all the edges. You always have the option to exclude some and to define a minimum edge length as a filtering capability. There is also a possibility to approximate a chamfer by specifying an edge thickness value. This will be the width of the chamfer. Another way to approximate the chamfer is to specify the number of cuts. You can create three and five axis simultaneous toolpaths for the boring operations. You can define to retract to the clearance or use splines to link between cuts. All the movements are collision checked. When we click on Auto the Boring, we just select the tool, include all the edges. Then, some calculation time, and you have it. Collision-free 5-axis continuous deburring for all the part. The HSM finish and rest finish toolpaths were added at, as expanded capabilities to the existing 3-axis HSM. These toolpaths 
are designed to create a smooth surface quality and you get plenty of options to control the finishing operations. Constant Z, Parallel Cuts, Constant Cusp or Smart which will combine strategies for steep and shallow areas, flatland and multi-pencil passes for cornering operations. Let's see how it works. When we click on the HSM finish command and select the convert to five axis option, what is happening is the calculation of the minimum tilting necessary to reach all the undercuts without causing a collision. The use case is to utilize shorter tools which can provide the stability needed for good surface quality. The main reason to use shorter tools to avoid chatter and avoid deflections, which are common when using longer tools. For this toolpath, you can use ball mill cutters and the tool shaft could be conical as well. In this video, I would like to show the steps to create a five axis HSM finishing operation. First, let's select the three axis option. We can see that tool cannot reach undercuts, which is normal. Now, just go to axis control. Select the convert to five axis option from the pull down menu, and that's it. Finally, to summarize, the Creo High Speed Milling Plus extension enables the creation of five axis simultaneous toolpaths for production parts and mold die or cast parts. It can work on full V-Rep geometry or on faceted features. In Creo 8, we added seven new HSM toolpaths, three new, three new commands, and four expanded options, which complement existing three-axis HSM functionality. All the Creo machining extensions are fully associative. If the original 3D model changes, the manufacturing deliverables will change accordingly. In the portfolio, we have a robust multitask machining and synchronization functionality in Creo Complete Machining. The new HSM toolpaths described in this presentation make the PTC portfolio even more robust. To get access to all machining possibilities, you just get Complete Machining and Creo High Speed Milling Plus extensions to have access to all machining capabilities. All these functionalities are fully integrated into Creo.